Okay, so welcome back to some more MXGP Pro. Now, I do want to check out a whole bunch of stuff yet in the game, but I do want to show you this. So if you go to single player, you can go to career, and you have the two options here, standard and extreme. Standard is uh, just like it always has been. You can um, customize it to however you want, basically. But then you have extreme, and I'm going to show you this here. Uh, I kind of already loaded in just to, to make sure it was what I thought it was. And it is. It is uh, equivalent to the real thing in Supercross the game. It's real. It's the practice, the qualifying, 30-minute motos plus two laps. It's insane. Now, the one thing that is interesting is if you choose to go this route, which I'm not going to because that's... Uh, I, I love that it's in the game. People want realism, and this is realism. I'm not going to because it's, it's way too long. It, it's way, 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 way too long. But... The, the thing that I thought was interesting is you don't need credits for this. They give you, they let you pick any of the MX2 bikes they have in the game, any of them for free, and then you can fully upgrade it. You have to kind of run this stupid sponsor kit on it that I'm not a big fan of, but, you know, whatever. So uh, we'll just pick one just because I'm trying to show you what it is. And then you can upgrade it completely. Now, you don't have the pick of everything. Here, I'll just kind of show you an example. You can choose these two right now until you gain enough fame. Once you gain enough fame, then you can upgrade it and keep going and going and things unlock. See what I mean? Uh, so the fame is essentially credits. But it's annoying because I grinded the game to upgrade a 250 for the career like I thought I was going to normally. But if you do realistic, you don't use that bike. Now, maybe in the standard career you do, and I'll be happy that I did that. But just kind of showing you, you have the option to have it fully upgraded. See, if you choose this one, you're getting maximum performance. Uh, so I don't really know why you, cho you would choose any of these two. Uh, but it's basically like that. And you can just keep going. You customize it like that. And then the gear... Why can't I go back? Oh, I have to proceed. Then it tells you that you cannot change this until a certain time window. Like at the end of a season or switching sponsors or whatever. The gear, if you choose one of your gear sets, that goes off your credits. So you would have to have the credits and the 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 gear slot where you can preset save like four sets of gear that is based off of your credits you don't get free gear or anything like that which you know whatever I, i'm surprised they don't have like specific gear sets for the rider to like match your bike you know i'm a little bit surprised they don't make you do that but uh, i guess i'm kind of happy they don't so that's what it is and then you go in and you like i said you have the qualifying the practice or the practice the qualifying and then the two 30 minute motos plus two laps so that is what extreme is. There's some achievements and some gear that you can unlock, special gear if you do that. We're not going to, and now we're gonna probably jump over into the the, the standard career. Okay, so I have my bike set up. We are on a short race and realistic difficulty. Now, the AI difficulty is quite a bit easier. The 250 AI difficulty is quite a bit easier in the 450s, but that being said, it, it still is difficult, so. Uh, when I make passes, sometimes they're kind of easy, cheesy ones where I just slam into him really hard. Like right here, we're just going to plow into this guy, push him off the track a little bit. Because they're still difficult enough that I don't feel like being too realistic about it. Otherwise, we get into this, uh, well, realistic battle where you're fighting with this one guy instead of moving forward. And I want to make moves, man. This is one of my worst tracks, so I need to minimize the damage on this opening round here. But you can see, I mean, if we were on the 450... If we were on the 450, we would not be in first place right now. Uh, but when I did ride against them, I did feel like they were quite a bit easier. I mean, they're still... Ooh, man. They're still tough, but not near as tough. And I was only on like a 70% upgraded bike. So maybe this is making the difference that we have a fully upgraded bike now because we could do it for free. They give you that one free fully upgrade, uh, upgraded bike to start the career instead of forcing you to be like stock you know or, or use your own bike that you had from just grinding out credits so maybe that's making some of the difference here but uh last time i raced them here the ai on the realistic difficulty in the 250s i think i got third and it was really close it was probably three three and a half seconds separating first second and third and i was in third place so it was really close and i know we're suffering i know we're in the wrong gear a lot and uh, I, my lap times are like three seconds slower when I do it like this than when I am just playing by myself because I use a manual transmission. I only use the semi-automatic when I'm doing YouTube videos like this because I've already mentioned it's just 
it's just easier to not have to think about it too much. Really, the only thing I think about is downshifting because it does annoy me that the bike desperately wants to be in one gear, maybe two gears too high. It's always in... If I want to be in third, it's in fourth. If I want to be in second, it's in third. It's just never really where I want it to be. And since the clutch doesn't really seem to work that great, I mean, it does, I do notice it a little bit, but since it doesn't seem to work amazing, uh, I do downshift sometimes. I mean, I'm not right now, really, because it doesn't look like I need to, because we're in the lead. I don't know what kind of lead we have. I really want the timer. I want something showing me what the lead is at all times, whether that's realistic or not. I don't care. I, I want to know how far behind the guy is from me instead of just knowing periodically. Because if I have a crash or whatever, you really don't know. You just kind of have to look behind you or look across the track, which I do quite a bit, but it's still a video game. And I've just, you know, me personally, I've become accustomed to, to having that interval timer. Of course, in the same sentence, I have been accustomed to not having that with MXGP games because uh, they don't they don't do that really he's still pretty close so we took a little look back there he is still pretty close and we got two minutes we're about halfway through this moto the extreme career thing is an awesome idea and I would love to unlock some of that stuff like there's a completely blacked out graphics kit there's a completely back blacked out graphics kit that I would like to get but it is uh, locked until you do something I don't know if you have to complete the 250 or 450 extreme career I mean that's gonna take some time because that's a full-blown weekend now you can skip the practice in the qualifying in it qualifying in it just like you can here but you still have to do the two 30 minute motos plus two laps so you're I mean you're looking at minimum over an hour just to do that and unless you want to try and get like a gate pick or something so over an hour per race and you have to do that in both the 450 and the 250, that is gonna take a minute. You know, that is gonna take a minute for sure. So, yeah, I don't know, maybe eventually we will because I really want that blacked out graphics kit, but uh, probably not for YouTube because I don't think there's anybody that would watch an hour long video game uh, recreation of the realistic or the real MXGP stuff. If you would, let me know, but I don't see it happening. I, and I personally don't feel like doing that either. I don't mind doing the career and having uh, moto formats like this. this. It doesn't really bother me that much. I, I, I don't know. Oh, man, come on. He was that close. He ran me over. The heck? I can't believe they were that close. I can't really hear them. I, I always turn the volume down on my headset when I do YouTube videos because... Uh, I kind of like hearing the volume of my voice and how loud I'm talking, I guess. And so I can't really hear them. I can barely hear my bike. I can hear my bike, but it's not super loud. And and I cannot hear anything behind me. So I really don't know how close they are unless I'm looking behind myself, which I'm not doing very often. I think that's really cool how you can see the roost coming off the back of the bike like that. I really like that. It's subtle, but yeah, isn't that cool? I think that looks awesome. I really like that. And it's not distracting. It's just a small thing that you can see. I'm going to end up getting third again. I can feel it. I mean, I got time. We got three laps, but I feel like w the worse the track gets, the worse I, the worse I get. I really struggle once the this main line starts to form. It gets really slippery, and it's really easy to go down, and uh, I kind of tiptoe around corners. I, I just really struggle with it. I might have overjumped too much. No. Wow. So you can overjump that one not a big deal and I keep pushing out of the main line because I struggle to get the bike to turn sometimes that's always been a problem for me in MXGP games just milestone games in general sometimes I I can't get the bike to do what I want see I get out of that main line and then I can't get on the throttle like I want to I mean it kinda has like a a small berm forming there more than an actual rut oh come on we over jumped the heck out of that other one but we just kind of case into the face of that, and you're down. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's one of those sweet spots. You're not supposed to hit that. Oh, he went off the track. Yes. I think this is my competition. I feel like this is the guy we're going to compete against all year long, so we need to get a win over him when we can. There we go, threw a preload in there. Oh, come on, I did it again. Front wheel out, back wheel in. No, I need the podium. 
Ugh! I need the podium. I'm getting the podium. I don't care what I have to do. Thomas Covington is not going to beat me. No, he's too slow around that sweeper. Oh, come on. Stay in that line, man. That's what's going to keep us on two wheels. Oh, I'd really like to catch this guy, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm riding super timid. I don't want to crash, but... I mean, it's a long season. It's, uh... This is the first race, so it's not a big deal. I do wish they would finally add... I mean, they're trying to make it so realistic. I do wish if you had a really big crash... Or let, let's say you had three... No. Let's say you have three crashes in a weekend. In both motos. Counting both motos. So if you have two in one and one in the other. Say you have three crashes. It makes you sit out for like two weeks or something. Because you're injured. Or whatever. Like they'd put a minimum of how many crashes you can have before you have to miss an entire weekend. I think that would be such a cool feature and force people. I mean, I know this is uh, a lot more realistic and a lot more difficult, but I think that'd be a really cool feature to add to it. I think that would just be more more ways of making players not play stupid. You know what I mean? Like, I come into that first corner and slam into people. Oh, come on! I'm going to be sitting out! Oh, I'm getting frustrated. Oh, my gosh. I'm going gonna, gonna to rage. I'm going to rage. No, I'm not. I'm not going to rage. I'll rage after I'm done with the video. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset that that keeps happening. Just goes to show the game is a lot harder than it used to be. Let's face it, GP3, that never would have happened. Never. Never, never, never would have happened. You wouldn't have to tiptoe. I've got a big lead, I think, over whoever's behind me. So I'm pretty safe in fourth. But that's not what I want. i got to get third. I told you I was going to do anything to get third. Thomas Covington is not going to beat us. Oh, that back end is pushing out. Man, that corner makes me nervous. I think that was one that I took a took a spill in. So I, I think we've had three crashes. So in reality, ooh, that would be enough to make us miss a weekend already. I mean, I could do that myself. Like, if I crash three times, I could just skip a weekend. But it would be cool if the game forced you to do that. Because let's face it, a lot of people aren't going to do that. Unless you really care. And I mean, I'm trying to spice it up a little bit because I know there's some people that are going to watch it. If I didn't do that, then no, I'm not going to sit out a weekend. I'm going to try and grind and uh, get first place. Got to slow down. What? Oh, no way. Come on. No way. No way. We we didn't know. We did not case that. We did not case that. And if we did, it was the slightest case ever. We were going super slow. No way. Well, there it goes. We're in fourth place because the game ripped us off. The game ripped us off. You know, I'm not even going to push hard. I'm just going to settle for fourth. Today is not my day. And we're going to come in and we're going to win the next moto. We are going to win the next moto. I'm going to punish this guy. I'm going to whip and I'm not going to bring it back. Not going to bring it back. We went down. We took a spill. We should sit out the next weekend. Unbelievable. We should have been on the podium. Uh, we lost by a lot. Wow. We lost by a lot. So we're going to have to step it up in the next moto if we want to grab the W. Okay, so here we are, moto number two. We do have our bike set up, and let's get this started. Now, we're going to need, like, a, a first or a second place here to probably give ourselves the best chance at a, an overall podium. Okay, I got kind of a late start here, but I'm going to try and do the same thing and just kind of shift to the inside here, kind of push into him a little bit. Okay, didn't want to take him out. It's stuttering. That, that, that's got to be a console thing. I, I just find that hard to believe that that'll be like that on PC. Because Supercross, the game, was the same way. The same way. I'm so frustrated. Got to make some moves. Get out of the way. Come on, guys. There's an entire track here. There's an entire track here. Spread out. Yeah, just kind of use them as a berm a little bit. It keeps you up, and you can really get on it then because you're not going to tip over as easy. Get inside. Oh, get two of them. Oh, he's pushing us. Ooh, that was a hard one. I love the sound it makes when you crash into him. It just, <laughs> I don't know, it's such a goony sound. You got to look for your moments, your perfect moments. 
Oh, what a move. What a move, actually. By the AI, listen to those sounds. It's like baseball bat hits car door. Lightly. Not hard, but lightly. All right, we worked our way into sixth here. Ooh! Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. We need a podium. Gotta start things off good, not bad. Oh, he's all over us. It's like they're faster the second moto. I remember in one of them, I think it was MXGP3, I always felt like the AI was slower the second moto. It feels like they're faster now. Whoa, we almost went down. That was a pretty aggressive move. A little on the dirty side, but nobody went down. That's good. Okay, I think that's the guy that won the first moto. I'm not sure. Keep him behind us. Oh, Covington, you're off the track and riding all over the place. Oh, I went for the takeout move and I got punished for it. I got so punished for that move. Yeah, that was pretty dirty. We were going in there pretty hot. And now we're in sixth. Well, that work we did. Okay, I didn't go for the takeout move, but I knew we could push into him and he would kind of have nowhere to go. I th the problem is I'm, I'm getting on the, the gas way too soon here. Way too soon, and that's causing us to spin out. If I would just calm down, relax, we might be okay. All right, I feel like we're still close enough to make a move here pretty soon. If we can just get just a little bit closer. Fifth place, not bad. Hit that corner like a boss. Come on here, maybe we can make a move. No, not quite close. Oh, well, maybe. It would have been really aggressive. Cut the track just a little bit. The game said it's okay, so it must be. Oh yeah, kind of force our way in there. Third place, baby, making moves. Here we go. Don't want to crash here. Oh, I hate getting that close to the edge of the track. I always get really nervous that we're going to go down or someone's going to T-bone us here. He's pressuring me so hard. Jeez. Look at that line. Look, at, and it didn't even slow him down. Yeah, we were going in pretty hot there. I don't know if we were going for the takeout move, but we were going we were going for something. The AI has better engines than we do. Motors. Better bikes. We're still in third. Wow, first place is just a mile ahead of us. I mean, I could see them, but in a race like this, that's that's quite a bit. Oh, come on. We got 3 laps left. Okay, 3 laps. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Come on, get on it. Should we go for it here? Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Second place, baby. We could do this. Oh! Slightly cross rutted there. I thought we were going down. If we go down, there's no way. So we have to avoid any crash whatsoever. Kind of feather it. Take it easy. Who is that? Olsen? Take it real easy around these corners. We're still close to him. Oh my goodness, jeez. Making the move. That might have been too early. I'm not sure. That might have been too early. <laughs> We're in third or we got three laps. Not I mean it's the AI, so it's not like they're a real person and know what to do here, but 
still now I'm now I'm nervous because I don't know where they are. I, I like knowing that I'm close to them and can make a move instead of knowing not 100% sure where they are, especially like now because I don't look behind me too much and have to hold this for two laps. For two laps. This is insane. This is whoa. We almost looped. Unbelievable. We rode such a good lap that last one. What's happening? Getting nervous. Okay, we're actually gapping him. If we could get enough of a gap to where I could allow myself one crash, I would be pretty happy. This is such a fast section right here. Just not get on the throttle too hard, because I, I think if we just keep riding like this, we'll be fine. I just can't crash. And even if we crash right now, I think we still have a chance, but... Uh, I really want to avoid it because I'm still not sure how much of a gap we have right now. Looks like we have a couple seconds, maybe. Ooh, almost went down. I don't even look at that. I know it's like telling me the interval, kind of, but I'm not even looking at it. I'm so focused on not going down. You can tell. I want this win so bad. All right, take it easy here. We crashed in a stupid way last time. Really hard to get over that. We'll even throw a victory whip if we could do it. Man, I wish this was the last lap. All right, coming up here, final lap. Can we do it? Can we hold them off? Oh, there we go. That was better. We pretty much got over that. Okay, yeah, I see him there. I'm tippy-toeing. You could tell. We're, we're riding really safe right now. I don't want to crash. A crash would be worse than just going a little bit slower, I think. I know it's just a game, but man, I really want to win. Man, if we would, when you get a little bit, I mean, there's not really ruts. We already talked about this, but there's small ones. And when you get kind of cross rutted, you feel it. Holy moly, you feel it. Okay, it looks like he's not really gaining on us, and we're kind of riding really, really careful right now. Ooh! We're riding so careful, it's unbelievable. But he's not gaining, so there's no reason to push something stupid right now. It's a career, man. It's, it's a career. It's just a video game. He's acting like it's real life. I know, this is real life. This is what real life is all about. Playing MXGP Pro and winning races and gaining fame. Becoming the most famous MXGP player of all time. Oh, is this the last? Is this it? This is it. This is it. This is it. Careful. Don't over corner. Take it easy. Oh, we got it. What's our overall going to be? I don't think it's enough to get first, but I think it's enough to get second. Throw the whip. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. And crash. So, what do we got here? Okay, I think Paul's was the guy who got first in the first moment. So, what are we going to get in the overall here? I don't like that. Can you just show me the results or is this like hard work pays off? Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so it was enough for second. Darn, I don't think What was the finish then? I don't know, it's not really showing us what his uh what he went in the first moto. Interesting. Forty seven forty three. Okay, well, there you go. That is the opening career video. I don't know if we're going to Excuse me. I don't know if we're going to keep going with the career. I don't I don't know. It's it's totally up to you. Excuse me. It's totally up to you guys if you want to see more career or not. I mean, I I enjoy it. It's really intense, but I don't know. I I just I don't know how much people want to see it. I know some people enjoy careers in these games, but some people don't. So let me know in the comments, please, if you want to see more career. I'm going to assume no. 
<laughs> okay, I'm just going to assume no, which might be the wrong thing. But I'm going to assume no career unless you guys say otherwise. So leave a like, let me know in the comments, and we can keep going with it. Next video will probably be like a, the compound or something, or career, if it seems like that's what you want. So you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. And until the next video, take it easy.